Today's Stillmace Warrior partner is Set for Set. We want to take the time to thank them for the offer that we provided during this episode and for teaming up with the podcast to provide a better listening experience for you. You can find out more about Set for Set at stillmacewarrior.com or by visiting their official website at setforset.com. Alrighty, what's up guys? Today I'm really excited. Uh, I have my first international guest. Uh, his name's Paul Widudo and he is actually the founder of House of Tengu. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your names are kind of difficult, but I'm getting there. Um, and then uh, he is also part of Art of Functional Movement. And mm-hmm. today uh, we're just going to ask him all about uh, like steel mace and uh, wool maces and mm. we're going to ask him how he programs them into, into his own workouts and uh, just go into all sorts of stuff so cool. for people who don't know about you let's get to know you uh, what's your story in fitness like where did you get started and um, what got you to where you're at now well, I'm <laughs> I'm not exactly 25, 21 year old year old guy, right? So uh, <laughs> it it happens kind of you know organically as well. Uh, um, six years ago, I kind of woke up to, you know, I stood up one one morning and I looked at uh, uh, yeah something's got to be done, right? So uh, uh, I kind of started researching you know into fitness uh, fitness modalities and and all that and. Uh, and I started actually as an RKC, uh, RKC uh, kettlebell lifter before I, I was a bodybuilder as well. But, you know, it was a long time ago, I guess. I got into um, uh, full contact fighting as well. Uh, so I, got, I, 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 do, I did the Kyokushin Kai karate full contact uh, pre uh, many matches in Poland. And then I did kickboxing in, in Norway and uh, and actually got into Eskrima and fencing and knife fighting, uh, rough stuff. Uh, I'm still doing it though, uh, wow. even though it's not, you know, full contact. It's just a uh, you know, way of expressing the movement, I guess, uh, something I, I really like. Uh, and I'm still doing fencing once a week uh, and full, full armor and, you know, and we <coughs> hit each other with the swords and, uh, and, and spears. And that's... Yeah. That's that's just cool. Uh, but uh, and when did it start? Really, uh, it's difficult to kind of pinpoint it. But um, seriously, uh, like seven years ago, I had the kettlebell in my in my hand for the first time. Right. Wow. So it's seven, seven seven years ago around that. And I've uh, I, I did both RKC and uh, now Strong First and and uh, and AKFF as well. So wow. the competition, couple, couple competition lifting, and you know, I did, I did most of it. I mean, uh, I, I did CST, tuck fits, uh, CrossFit certifications, all the certification I can, I could, you know, get my my uh, my hands on. And and uh, five years ago, uh, we met up with with Paul Gray uh, on one of CST certifications, and we, you know, we sat back and you know looked at all the certification we have, and shit, shit, this this is. A lot of holes to fill, and uh, you disappeared. You disappeared. I don't see oh, you. I see you. Oh, you see me. All right. We're good. good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> um, but uh, we kind of, uh, we kind of, uh, you know, got together and and uh, and came up with the idea that you know let's you know let's make a system that make it you know whole that you can still do your tuck fit and you can still do, do your, your mace or your kettlebell or whatever, but it is a, like a framework we can actually give to people and say, okay, in your fire day, you can do this and in your air day, you can do this. So you actually can train every day without, you know, damaging yourself like many systems do. Oh, right? That's interesting. So those are like the different elements that you guys got going on? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's you know it's a whole different story. I, I mean, we have one hour. <laughs> it's a, a hero for many hours talking, but yeah, mainly it's a, it's a periodization system, so that uh, people don't you know overdo things and don't damage themselves. That's so that's, that's the beauty of it. Yeah, that's interesting, and I like that because we do see that a lot. People just getting injured, going out there, not thinking about movement in a responsible and thoughtful way, right? Yeah, 
I mean, they, they, they do think about movement and, and what scares me the most. I mean, uh, the, really many people thinking about movement, but don't think about themselves. There you go. But they think about movement, right? I mean, I, I'm going to provide myself with this or that, that, but what actually my body needs is kind of, you know, it's not there. This question is just not appearing. But I have to deliver, I, I'll deliver uh, whatever it costs, right? right? It's just, you know, it's a choice, really. Right. <laughs> it's really... Right. Hmm. And, uh, and so how long has House of Tango been open? Obviously, that's your gym, right? Yeah, it is my, it is my gym. It's my baby. I mean, I, I got open five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I, honestly, I look at your, uh, what you're doing in your gym, and I feel like you guys have been around for a while. I mean, your experience is just like it's shown. I mean, it's like, you know, my father taught me to swim once, right? I mean, he just... Uh, threw me off the, the, the rig and said, swim, right? <laughs> I swam. <laughs> so it's, it's something about, about this that works. It, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it's, you know, it's a healthy thing to do. I wouldn't recommend it. But right. uh, you know, if you have to swim, you fucking swim, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you so, have to. You know, I, I, started, I started like five years ago and I threw myself into the deep waters and, uh, and you know, small steps every day. And, you know, we, we're still here. We're still kicking. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, you guys are doing extraordinary things. Uh, so on the way, what do you say inspired you on your journey uh, in fitness? I mean, it's, a lot of the guys, I mean, it's a, you know, the world is filled with the, you know, extraordinary ind individuals and every, every, everyone has a gift, right? right? We, you have a gift. I have a gift, you know, I, I think, the, 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 you know, as the Facebook grew, grew bigger as well, I mean, the, the, the networking was, you know, so easy, so easy, like seven, five, seven years ago. Uh, and, uh, you know, I picked up some things there. And uh, I mean, I'm, I got, I guess, interested, Scott Sommel interested me with the clubs. So I kind of started researching the clubs. I did uh, both TACFIT and CST, as, as I said before. And... Um, I think that was my the first, you know, kind of aha experience with uh, with uh, with the ballistic tools. I mean, I loved kettlebells, but they are not complete. Uh, I needed a club, really. I needed, you know, never, you know, you have to have the toolbox right. to actually cherry pick what what you need. It's not like you know, kettlebell is your the answer for everything. It's not. I mean, I needed a club, but needed a mace. Uh, but uh, I think the combination of it, yeah, we can, we kind of coming closer to the perfect. I mean, the combination of, of everything, uh, you know, put into the uh, framework that works uh, is health first as well. It's not just, you know, let's do 100 snatches and then we do 100, uh, 360s and then you do, you do 100 burpees and that's it. You know, it, you know, my son can can do can uh, you know can deliver this this kind of workouts. So it's 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 not a point. It's not a point. But to put all of these beautiful tools and these beautiful movements into the the cycle that works for people, so that they you know they can do it every day. That's I think uh, the uh, something you know me and Paul we did pretty well. We did pretty well together. Right. Mm. And I see that. And I see that you guys implement all of these tools. And maybe we can talk about that, um, your art of functional movement. Um, can you tell us a little more about that for people who don't know what it is and maybe discuss the elements a little more? Yeah. I mean, if the, the idea is, um, is really simple and it always has been there. You know, I'm not talking, I'm not going to be talking about my <clears throat> kind of, uh, uh, well, uh, the spiritual side yet uh but it, it came up from from that actually i was vegan uh, uh pretty pretty many years and um in in you know in all, most pagan religions you have you have the elements right right so one day i woke up and said Shit, why why not we just do that why not we just you know put the things together so that the water element is your recovery element and you, you know, you can use your pilates, you can use all of your, your body flows to actually, you know, open up your body after, um, <clears throat> after the workout day, day, day before. It's still training, it's still stress, but it's a different type of stress. Uh, 
Right. Uh, um, and we use, you know, my, my girlfriend, she's, she's a yoga teacher certified and she, she does water classes her way, right? Yeah. Uh, Paul, he, she, he has his uh, eye flows, uh, Paul Gray, and he, he does the yoga, does the, the water element his way. Uh, and, you know, we have many instructors that, you know, the Pilates instructors and they, they do, you know, they, they kind of put a different flavor into it as well. Right. Yeah, that's cool. We all we all different. I mean, it's not like now the water element is like this. It's these positions, and that's it. You have to actually play and adjust your water element to your people as well, not just you know to yourself, but you, to to people you want to give it to. And um, and that's uh, that's mostly water element. We do that twice a week. Uh, we have uh, we have Monday like a moon's day, like a you know low intensity day, and then we have Friday, which is Freya's day. You know, it's a Norwegian, like a mythology, like a Scandinavian mythology. That's Freya, beautiful. I mean, uh, this is something I, uh, you know, uh, it takes time to, to deliver, but it's possible. It's just, it just makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so you have a moon and you have a Freya, which is like a two feminine elements in, in a week. And we, we do water elements these days. Uh, the next element is, is, is uh, fire elements, which is, uh, you know, simple movements, high intensity, high speed as well. So you are actually getting, you know, the metabolic conditioning big time this day. And it's, uh, it's Tuesday, right? Uh, Terz is a, a god of war. So it just fits per perfectly Tuesday because Tuesday in the region is Tierstag, Tierstag. So it, Terz is a, is a god of war. Uh, and it's, uh, was it today, is it? It's Tuesday today. Yeah, it? it's Tuesday. Yeah, you just watch the, um, and you can watch uh, what I've served to my people today. It, it, you know, it is high intensity, really. Awesome. So it's a simple movements, high intensity. That's what it is. Uh, so you don't do any, you know, complex stuff this day. And then you have an air day, uh, which is the most complex, uh, complex, uh, uh, complex elements in our in our system. Uh, which uh, we use really a lot of balance. We use proprioception, we use rhythm, uh, we use uh, complex movements with the mace as well. So a lot of uh, mace work is usually set, set in uh, into the air elements. And that's, uh, that's Wednesday, uh, in my place at least. Uh, I, I put it Wednesday because Wednesday in Norwegian is, is Umstag, which is Odin's day. And Odin is a, is a god of knowledge and, uh, and poetry. So it's all, you know, the beautiful movements. It's, let's just put it there. Um, so, uh, and, you know, the air element is, uh, it's one of my favorites, really. I really lo love to express myself with the, with the movement. So, uh, if it's a mace, if it's a club, if it's a saber, I mean, I, I really like a movement. It's not about the tool anymore, right? right. And then we have uh, Thursday, which is the Earth Day. Earth Day, the Earth element, which is like a fundamental heavy heavy lifting. You can say uh, power lifting as well. You can put it like a single single uh, joint movement. Uh, typical, typical squats, deadlifts presses, uh, everything which is kind of heavy and, uh, and you know, uh, and a simple in a structure, linear in, linear in, in a structure as well. So it's not the circle movement, it's more like, you know, like a CrossFit, it's just heavy. <laughs> right, right, it's heavy. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's our Thursdays, like a Thursday, like a tours day, right? Yeah, yeah. Day of Thor. Yeah, love it, love it. Let's make it Earth. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's how I do it. And you you probably want to ask, you probably want to ask uh, where I put where I put the mace in. Yeah, yeah, the, definitely. Your... Obviously, it's it's air, right? It's air, but it can be fire and it can be Earth as well. Ooh, let's yeah. talk about that. Yes, you see, in in Earth. You can do, for instance, uh, you know, I have like 20, 20, 25K maces, and then you just do squats with them. Yeah, you do, you do front press with them. I mean, it's, it's still one, you know, one simple, simple movement, but you can still apply it. And in fire, and you, you put, it, put it in a cradle position, and then you do jump squats with them. I mean, possibilities are endless, really. It's just the creativity that stops you. Wow. So 
That's right. Really and cool. uh, you know, if you pull it, pull this off, I, I, I use both clubs and, and maces as well in water element is stretching. So uh, loaded stretching. So yeah. you have it. There you have it. And I've seen I've seen you um, use these shorter maces, and you call them short maces. Yeah, I call they them almost blocks. they look it's, almost like uh, like clubs. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm I kind of don't. I kind of like to design my own shit and uh, and I don't want to I don't want to you know step on other other toes other other people's toes and um, um, I call it bulava bulava which is in Russian in Polish it's called it's a club basically but bulava is uh, is the old uh, old weapon actually used from the horseback you know to crush the helmets yeah yeah uh, and, and it looks like a ball on on a stick really and uh and i i said yeah i'm slavic uh i'm nothing nothing to be um, you know to uh, to be worried about and i just call it in slavic way and and that works that works pretty well what, what is it it's basically a club but the, uh, the you know the weight is distribution is just on the top so so the same work you can do with like 7k bulava it's basically 10 or 12 uh, K club because the weight distribution is on top of it. And, right. you know, it's much more difficult to stabilize the wrist. So uh, it's much, much more challenging to work. Yeah. Yeah. The, and then you, you would say it's kind of similar to a mace because I mean, over here we're used to having like the long mace or do you think hmm. it's different? Yeah. I mean, it is different because, you know, all the techniques, uh, they actually stand from, uh, from the club, but not from a mace. There you go. Right. So, so it is a club. You know, bulava means club in Polish. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was like, those things look very similar to a mace, but but at the same time, I'm like, it's definitely a club. It is right? a club. It is a club. But, you know, you can do different things with it as well. I mean, you can always, like, throw them, catch the balls and press it. I mean, you know, uh, I just uh, I just hope that uh, people are going to use that that's this kind of equipment as well and you know explore it because that's what it's all about i mean i just you know everything i do is is mostly for free or it's, it's online so just uh get in touch with me and you know yeah definitely me. i definitely recommend that they check out your youtube because you were actually someone i'm just gonna give a little a little i'm gonna go back a little bit but uh, a couple of years ago before i even got into mace i remember going on your youtube and i was like this guy's freaking amazing and this was probably like i'd say three years ago or so yeah. Mm. and yeah mm. so i mean i started to build my uh, uh, my archives on youtube uh, like three four years ago yeah yeah I mean, uh, I still do that sometimes, but you know, it, it's so much of it. I mean, it's like <laughs> or it's 10 hours of material and I just, okay, um, shall I make it bigger? Uh, no, I don't really need to because it's, it's you know, all my, uh, my weirdness is already there. So it's, 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 it's good enough. But my Instagram, my Instagram it came up pretty, pretty well as well uh, lately. And, uh, and of course my Facebook site. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll make sure that I add that to the blog. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll add it and I'll, I'll link you to every, I'll link people out to up to you. But, um, so what sort of, what, how do you, okay. So you implement maces to your program. Um, why do you use them? Um, like what, what type of benefits have you seen people get from them? Like specifically, specifically from mace specifically from mace it's it's a shoulder grid i mean i i see shoulder grid the issues that it can be that can be really really balanced out with the with the mace especially like a circular circular movements as well right. so the um you know the opening opening the shoulders and then you have a grip strength and then the elbow structure so uh i mean it, it's not a perfect tool but it's pretty pretty damn you know, well thought too. That's for sure, because yeah. uh, especially you know, if you if you kind of nerdy and 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 start researching, you know, the angles in three hundred sixty and and all that. I mean, it, it can it can have a really, you know, big health benefits as well. It, yeah. It's of course if you if you just you know throw it back and and wait what happened probably injure yourself. So so get you get yourself a trainer uh, which you know has a. <clears throat> if not name, so a good reputation at, at least, so it's not injuring people. 
right, right. I mean, then, Rick Brown is was one of the, those guys. I mean, uh, definitely. Uh, Rick Brown is is a really really sweet big man. Uh, <laughs> I love, love how you put that. Uh, uh, you know, I've, I've I've been doing the the workshop with him uh, in Norway as well, and and in the UK as well. So uh, and we him have sat down and talk like uh, civilized people and uh, eat whale, ate whale together. It is uh, good times, good times. Uh, and then this is one and only guy, which is uh, actually can walk across my gym with a like 25k uh, mace and swing it and talk in the same time, right? right. So it, you know, it, it, it's, he's a monster. He's a monster. Yeah, 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 and I'm sure he's gonna be all happy about you talking about him on this podcast. I, I'm actually always speaking with him. He's such a sweet guy. I love him. He's a sweet guy. Yeah, he's really yeah. Sweet. Mm. Awesome. Now I want to like hop back to something that you said. Yeah. You said that you have like special design maces. Like, do you make them, or does someone in your area make no, I them? I draw or? them. I draw them, and I have a blacksmith oh. in my country, uh, which is making them. Yes. Yes, he's an artist. He's, um, you know, pain in the ass when we're talking about delivering on time. I love him to pieces as well. Uh, but I, the last mace I've, uh, I've, I've ordered, it was like one and a half year ago. So, uh, yeah, you wait for it. You yeah. wait for it and then you get it. So, the, you know, you've, you've seen the, the latest one uh, designed with the four, four faces. Mm-hmm. Like a four-faced uh, god. It's one of the Polish, uh, Polish gods as well. Sviatovic is called. Yeah. So I decided and I thought, I thought Shit, it would be really cool to have one of those. And I, you know, I gave an idea and I wait and I wait and I wait and I forgot about that. And, and then, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I got, I got it. <laughs> and wow. it's, a, it's a piece of art, really. It is a piece of art. But, but um, you know, it, it's just one. It is just one. So I've, I've yeah. designed the, the whole line, which is like, you know, regular maces for people. And I produce it in Poland as well, but it's a bigger company, so, so they could produce in bigger, you know, numbers. Wow, that's so cool. I don't think I've ever heard anyone tell me that before. So um, it's cool that you get these, like, made and they're, like, from an artistic point, you know what I mean? It's like, it's art. I mean, what is it? The whole life is a fucking art. That's I mean, beautiful. you know, if you, you know, do you have this, uh, do you have this, uh, kind of A4 people, uh, do you call people A4, like a square, like A4, like a regular mm-hmm. people, right? I mean, look how much we can actually, you know, miss in life, miss out in life if we don't, you know, try to, you know, make it yours in some way. I mean, you know, create something, make something in life. And, uh, and that's what it's all about. I mean, at least find out what your gift is and, and just start giving it, right? right. If it's coaching, let, let it be coaching. Is it poetry? If it's a singing, you know, um, you know, lately I kind of, you know, I want to, you know, start, I'll start playing piano again, for instance. I mean, yeah, I, just, I noticed, I noticed. Yeah. And it just starts, you know, organically because it's something missing in in the, this you know rough everyday life you know you, you're lifting you're training you're doing that and then you you miss some of the of your femininity as well and then you you have to you know balance it out so i yeah i draw i i write and i you know i take pictures and i play piano and i don't ask me to sing please uh, it's not yet <laughs> I was about to ask you to sing. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, that's no, not going to happen yet. But, yeah, but it, it's, you know, it's all about creation. And that's why, you know, the older, how do you call it? Uh, you know, misunderstanding in, in a maze, uh, in a maze, um, you know, network. Uh, should you dance with maze? Should you swing maze? Should you swing heavy? Should you swing traditionally? I don't really care uh, because... <laughs> We we talking about one tool, right? right. Uh, and we we talking about group of beautiful people that you know can make a problem of every anything, right? right. And uh, you know if if somebody want to dance with a mace, fucking dance with a mace, right? I dance with a mace and I lift heavy. I do both. Right. I don't care. I don't care because you know I I'm not I'm not I didn't come out from other systems to be you know 
you know, to be to be in prison again. I mean, I, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. Wow. But again, it's just me. If somebody want to want to do just one style, just it's it's fair enough. It's better than sitting at home and eating potato chips and drinking beer. There right? you go. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's uh, that's better. It's better than Zumba as well. So yeah. Man, you really, you really got some inspirational talks there. I'm over here thinking about it. No, yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. I think um, the mace should just be used the way anyone wants to use it. I mean, the, all the tools go. All the tools should be used, you know, as as they, you know, as people want to. But don't call it health training. It, it, that's the that's the main problem, right? Because right. if you, you know, if you, you know, if you're juggling maces, uh, yeah, it's the juggling maces, but it's it's better than Zumba, but is it health training? No, it's not. Right. So, right. so there are, there, there are some, you know, some, some framework. So we, you know, we have to give to people and say, okay, this is good for you. Right. And juggling this, maybe it's not. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> right. That, that'd be kind of hard and you might hit yourself <laughs> on the head. Yeah. But you, you, you see the point, right? I mean, no, yeah. Yeah, so, so the movement in general is really healthy and, and do it every day, do it every day. Right. Mm. Now, okay, so talking about mace, um, what are some of uh, your favorite, like, mace movements? Oh, <laughs> many, I mean, I have many favorite movements, but uh, I, I kind of like, you know, d designing the, the air programs with the mace based on uh, 360s and, and then the deep, a deep uh, lower architecture work which is like a cossack squats and pistol squats and and all that and then the broad stances as well i mean uh, the stances which you can actually stabilize yourself in uh, in the vertical uh, position but you can always drop down to cossack or or the low lunge or uh, or other things and then uh, together with uh, some you know some form of dexterity with a mace as well that that works that works for my people as well. Um, nevertheless, I mean, if you're just starting with the mace, just do 360s and 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 and, and ten twos. That's that's more than enough to be right. honest. Actually, get the, the full health benefits. I mean, the circular movements are the thing. Are the thing. Sorry. But to, to be honest, I mean, it, it's uh, <laughs> you know, my people they know. They sweet. I mean, they, they just don't know how good they are, right? They just thinking, okay, I'm struggling. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. Yes, you're struggling because it's my work that you actually, you know, get something to work on, right? Right. If you're just doing a simple thing and you're doing it every day, I mean, you get you're getting it better. But is it gonna get more interesting and colorful? Uh, no. No. So you have to move, you know, you have to move them further and further. And yes, they're going to struggle because, you know, it's all, always new things. So uh, they don't just, they just don't know how good they are, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I think a lot of people have that problem, huh? Yeah. They just, we just don't, don't, we, we don't have a possibility to, to look at ourselves objectively as well i mean it, you know it's always subjective to you know to bloody facebook or instagram or whatever i mean come on yeah you know it's, it's a, the, the way to you know to, to get yourself down actually not build yourself up that's why i'm not looking at facebook so much i'm, yeah. I'm going, going going to work i'm you know close closing the door i'm moving i'm filming i'm i'm cutting out the pieces i can use and uh, and I build the exercises from from this, and not from something I've seen on on, on YouTube or or uh, Instagram or whatever. So, right. but that's probably something that makes me a bit different than the others because I don't have this, you know, feed bombarding me all the time. Uh, and I use this this fucker here as a, <laughs> as a job because it's just uh, you know it's just a job. It is a job. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to disconnect as, as much as, as possible. And it's difficult nowadays. It is difficult. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Mm. Um, all right. So you would say maybe maybe that could be a tip for a beginner, maybe disconnecting, you know, and, and training rather than always being on online and trying to compare yourself to others. I mean, it, 
get yourself a, a, a proper trainer as well oh, yeah, and just yeah. meet him face to face. I mean, it's nothing better than just interacting with the other human being, right? I mean, we're having a good time right now, me and you, but, uh, you know, it's nothing like I, I meet up with my, my fencing instructor, for instance. We drink coffee, we kick shit out, out, out of each other, and, uh, and, you know, we're having a good time, and I always learn something from it, right? right. I couldn't learn it, you know, sitting and, and, uh, and, and chatting online, because, you know, there's a sweat, there's, a, you know, it's a things happening, things happening, and then you can experience life this way. Right, not just this way, but also this way, and and uh, you know all the all the feeling around you, and that's that's life. Uh, that scares me to shit that you know people actually using that as a, as a something uh, you know instead of it, instead of life. Right, that's scary. That is. It's just scary. Yeah, and I think it's one of the biggest problems we have right now, yeah. um, for sure. Now. I, you know, you, you actually allowed me to take a look at one of your, your programs, right? I think it was yes. like earth, yeah. I think earthquake and it was body weight training. And I know you do body weight training, and, yeah. but, but another thing that I noticed is the whole paying attention to movement, you know, thoughtful movement. What, what are your thoughts on that? Like what kind of like tips can you give on, on that aspect? Oh, I mean the, uh, I'm not, you know, body weight training is not it's is a is a is a fundamental of everything i mean if your legs are out of uh, <coughs> alignment uh, in your in your maze technique you, you know you cannot provide yourself with a, with a good movement on the in the upper architecture so i mean it starts from there uh, it's not my favorite type of uh, um, i rather i rather work with a tool right i do. I do. I'm not. Uh, I'm not typical, you know, free body mover. As a, as for instance, um, the really uh, fantastic coach as my partner is. I mean, uh, Paul Gray is just uh, is he is just awesome, right? I know. I know. Uh, and me, uh, well, give me a club and I show you. Uh, but uh, I I did wrote the program and uh, and it's based. On, on the you know the fundamental movements we actually after that we actually apply you know the weight on it so so if you have li lizard for instance you you know lizard right yeah right? so from lizard position you cannot always clean the kettlebell and press it right from the table position you can clean the kettlebell or use a club so so it's a fundament of uh, of of my my movement with the with the tools as well I mean if uh, if the body structure is is broken, it's it, there is no point to use using a tool, right? So let's work with uh, with the body weight first, and then apply the tool when this structure is sound. So that's that was my thought. That was my thought. I like how every program you have is kind of like in order, and you kind of work your way up. I've noticed that, right? And it's and it, I love it because I'm assuming that it's just going to make that person's fitness levels just better, right? I mean, it has to be progressive, progressive, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it, you have a group of 20 people. You think, okay, maybe some of, uh, some of those guys can deliver level two and some you have to regress to level one and maybe to level zero, which is not on, on the tape, but it's still the same movement pattern. It's just a lower, you know, intensity or le liver length, length or angle, right? So uh, it's many, many ways to actually make the exercise more, you know, more uh, difficult and less difficult. It, it's still the same exercise. That's why uh, uh, I think the AFM system is, is so good because we actually have to have, to deliver the exercise, you have to have at least four levels of it. And then you have to have a possibility to regress at least two and give you know something for the stars which you know if they do level four perfectly so you can always add some more complexity onto it so oh, uh cool is that know, is that what's going on with the logo because i see that you guys got the stars going on and uh, not not exactly stars represents uh, three uh, three rules of three but uh, you know i, I, I hope i, 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 hope I, uh, I uh, meet you on the certification so that you're gonna you're gonna love it i mean it's yeah. all it's all encoded in logo as well. It's every every single structure is encoded in there. So if you look at logo and you know you know it, then you're never gonna forget it. 
Right. And then mm. now going back to the AFM system, I noticed that you guys came here, right? You guys came to the United States not yeah. so long ago I'm and have you, I saw all the have great you. pictures and I was like, I missed mm. out. What's going on here? I'm just kidding. But no, uh, tell me a little bit about that. Like, I know you guys are coming over here a lot. Um, what, what's your, like, what's your plan with AFM? I mean, uh, we, uh, we've started to, uh, to spread AFM knowledge in, in the U S this year. It's a, Paul has been uh, there two, twice, twice before, but since I'm Polish, so I got a visum this year. <laughs> so I had to apply for visum. I got visum now for 10 years. So we're going to be uh, together often, uh, more often. And then the next, uh, next certification is October and it's in Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Got it. And then, so these are certifications like for coaches. Now say someone just complete beginner, want to get into fitness, want to try the system. I mean, uh, they, they are for everyone, right? If you, if you want to do it for yourself, just to, you know, to understand your, your body better, uh, it's, it's, it's a way to go as well. I mean, it's not like that they're only the, you know, top-notch coaches uh, coming to force certifications. Yeah. We have people doing, you know, just a regular fitness uh, coming and, you know, they just, just want to learn more and, and, and it's, uh, you know, we, we take care of them as well. So awesome. yeah, and they they're coming out and they 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 way better athletes and and they actually can coach others as well because that's what certification is about. It's not about being better athlete; it's being better coach. There we go. Mm. And so so maybe you know people can hit up those coaches, people that are you know your people are getting certified. Yes. Maybe how do we find them? Like how do we find these coaches? Like if I wanted to try I mean, it, the, the official uh, U.S. website is is coming up. Uh, but uh, the most most of the uh, most of things you can find on Facebook actually on Art of Functional Movement uh, page on Facebook. Yeah, as well. and then you have your programs on your website, so people can hit that up too, right? Yes, yes, they can. Yes, they can. I have a, I have a book as well. I wrote last year, Journey of the Warrior Part, uh, and this is also available through PDF and 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 the paper form, both on Amazon and 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 through. Uh, you know, this, uh, this flat here, so I just send it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the book? Cause I'm, I actually, I looked at it, but I actually thought it was like a poetry book for some reason, but it's actually like fitness. Uh, it's the, it's, my, it's a, basically my first book in my view on, on fitness and life, uh, considering elements as well. So, uh, I, I put everything I, I know in it, uh, and it's of course, you know, it happens in uh, during the year. Actually, I just sat sat on the, on the front of the computer and started writing, and and I wrote and wrote and wrote. So it was meant to happen that you know I I published I published le- last year. What is the book about? It's about you know my background, basically where I you know where I'm coming coming from, what I've experienced, and uh, and how I look at things now. You know. Through the uh, through the you know through everything I've experienced as well, and uh, how I attempt to help people in the future. That's beautiful. No. That's All right, then I'll probably add a link to that too. Yes, do that. Yeah. Yes, because that's yeah. that's way too interesting to just let it mm. not be found. Um, and I guess my last question, because I know you mm. want to go eat. You mentioned that you wanted to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And I can tell you've been training all day, by the way. He said that he's been training people all day. He's tired. He wants to eat. Um, yeah. I, you mentioned it before. You said uh, you, you, I've seen you wear armor and I've seen you do some crazy stuff with that. And I think you yeah, did like, yeah. a, like an event not a couple months ago or something. And, and you guys yeah. are like dressing up. Tell me about that. Cause that's interesting. I mean, we, um... <sighs> It's, it's it all started when I when I was was you know I was studying in Poland, uh, uh, was go, going to school in Poland and uh, and I uh, in my city is a castle so uh, we have a you know brotherhood of the knights so I you know I climbed up the rank and I, I became a knight uh, and we actually doing like full contact armor fights uh, both for show and for sparring uh, purposes and uh, it was like a reenactment of forty. 14th uh, century, which is like a full suit of armor. And uh, when I came to Norway, I just, I kind of missed something and, uh, you know, and I was starting doing archery, but, you know, I still do archery every day, but it's not the same. So archery is more like a meditation for me, but I kind of like, I don't know. I like to hit shit. And, um, 
and I, I started to start in a group in Horton. It's like a 40 minutes drive from here. Uh, and it's 8th century Viking fighting. But, uh, since I'm Polish, so I can use the Polish uh, way of, uh, you know, way of, uh, you know, clothing and, and armor and, and everything. So I don't have to use the Viking sword. I can use a saber, for instance. I, I have this different axe and I have different helmets and all that. But it's a, it's a heavy, you know, it's a heavy sport. It is, it, you, you know, you bleed and you, you get, you know, bruises and all that. So, so I'm uh, in August. I'm going for um, this uh, big, uh, big um, events. Volin. It's in Poland. It's Polish island actually. It's like six hundred people in the same time, actually hitting each other. Oh, wow. Uh, it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be painful, but I hope it's gonna be fun as well. So that's but, actually big out there. That's so. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I mean, come on, six hundred people at the same time. I mean, it's oh, big. That's gonna be phenomenal. Now, is someone gonna videotape this? Because I mean, yeah, put my, it. my girlfriend, she's she's coming with me, so she's. <laughs> <laughs> that's I so hope funny. she's gonna have a good zoom as well on camera, so that you know it's uh, because it's a lot of people. It work with a lot of uh, equipment as well, so it's a big, you know, big, big axes, big uh, spears, and uh, and all that. So yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I think that's a great way to end this podcast. Now, uh, where can people find you um, if they wanted to find you specifically or art? I mean, hit me on Facebook. You know, uh, you know, if if there is, you know, mail is, you know, you know, me and mail, right? So you've tried before; it just it just doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, try Facebook and try Instagram as well. I'm, I'm daily on Instagram. Um, as well, you know, www.tengu.no website. Um, you can look at uh, our our things there, uh, and YouTube as well. But I mean, you you can uh, add the links uh, below below the chat so so that people can find me if they want to. All right, cool. And then mm. I'm, I'm I'm actually I have my eye on Paul, so let's hope that uh, that I can get him through too for mm. one of the podcasts, and that way we can have both of you on the on the SMW podcast because this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know listeners are going to just find this phenomenal and I know they're going to enjoy probably the armor stuff too. Right. That's, yeah. that's that's awesome. Hit up Paul and you know get get him uh, get him to, to you know it's always it's difficult because you know Paul he you know he's a sweet talker. I mean he's talking so posh English and and all that and I'm sitting here I'm Polish I live in Norway actually speaking <laughs> Right. So it's not exactly my language, yeah. uh, but I um, I get by. I get by, I guess. Get by. No, we did great. I love I love this podcast. This is, probably, this is one of my favorite ones. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys for listening to the Still Maze Warrior podcast. Again, we have uh, Paul Widuto, and I'll go ahead and add all the links below. And uh, thank you so much for, for saying yes and for being on the mm. podcast. And mm. uh, may the universe always flow with you. <laughs>